Hello, everyone. Am I clearly audible to everyone? Good. Okay. So, as I can see, many people have already joined, and few of them is going to join in a few minutes. So. Let's begin initially. Okay, so hello everyone. A warm welcome from Russia Ideas team to everyone present over here. My name is Jay Kumar. I am the product manager at Russia Ideas. I am the product lifecycle and growth consultant to ensure the robustness of the products is being delivered to the uh, friends and folks like you uh, who's going to be using that in the future. And today, I am one of your hosts. Uh, along with me, Mr. Ajal, Vice President of Sales at Brusher Ideas is with us. Uh, he has a decade-long experience in dealing with different printing in, in business owners and different printing scenarios. He and hence he is well aware of uh, you know happenings um, and trends and other stuff around in the real world of uh, printing industry. So uh, let me give you a brief on who is, what is Russia Idea and how we are doing what we are doing specifically there. We at Brusher Ideas provide the end-to-end -end software solutions for printing business, including web to print. Uh, e-commerce store, end-to-end -end software solutions for printing businesses, including web to print, e-commerce, and plugins, and, and, and many things are now. But specifically, uh, I would like to, you know, uh, tell you guys over here that we are not here to promote ourselves or do the kind of business stuff, but we are here just to uh, share the uh, paradigm of the current crisis situations going uh, all over the world and how it is impacting especially the uh, printing business and how printing business can survive and expand in the future. And uh, uh, let's to begin with the uh, today's session that is entitled as how are you planning to handle the next crisis? So today we'll gonna learn how uh, the different different scenarios are there, how the things could uh, go worse in some of the situation, how still we can tackle some of the situations as a as we all are aware that COVID-19 has now become an international crisis and deeply impacting the global economies. And we will uh, initially take the dive inside the current scenarios of how not uh, COVID specifically, but any other crisis can impact the offline businesses, especially running into any uh, locality or we can say any region. And here we, we will not talk about the COVID-19 cases and other related stuff as, uh, you know, uh, respective government authorities have a better figures than us. But today we'll uh, definitely talk about the traditional business model challenges inside uh, the printing industry and uh, the new opportunities that rise uh, during any crisis or any lockdown scenario. We'll see uh, what are those for the printers and how they grow initially or how to maneuver the business model so that they at least affected by this kind of crisis and again in more depth we'll know how uh, print businesses can achieve new revenue uh, opportunities and retain your loyal customers and attract some uh, new customers to your uh, website as well and uh, finally you can take a step towards a new venture that always you know demands a consultancy in the initial phase and then uh, we can we can start with uh, the things very well 
now um, i would like also uh, like to add here um, the brief of why the initially the venture goes fail when they are opting from offline to online and uh, what are the mistakes they usually did or uh, what you should do as an entrepreneur or as a business person you should avoid doing and the technology part and the industry expertise at brochure ideas can help you out uh, uh, with their decade long experience so let's uh, take a look on current global crisis situation so moving ahead here uh, if we talk about the new uh, opportunities around or current crisis specifically that impacted the printing industry and that is a very authentic survey run by quosirka in the us region uh, europe and as in asia regions but the results are similarly same for australian african region so we can consider this results as very authentic and um, globally acknowledged this result now uh, has in front of us with uh, uh, you know the covid situation has raised in uh, you know us and europe and other asian countries earlier so according to the state we can say the uh, state says that uh, almost uh, you can say 66% of printers uh have facing a significant impact on their overall businesses business opportunities customers customer in uh, the demand of their customers they are feeling the impact and 66% is is a huge number so that number itself says you know uh, there are a lot of impact has to this covid or kind of an crisis scenario and the major critical thing is um, in in that 66% the 5% of the business are very critical in a very critical stage to even survive uh, they are almost uh, they are almost in a stage to uh, we can say uh, 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 almost an end of their business or temporarily not permanently but at the time in the uh, uh, lockdown scenario or social distancing or this covid impacting it them a very uh, high way so that you know uh, that criticality comes into the picture for 5% of the business now if we consider the uh, impact of the uh, 66% of the users um we can definitely say that that 5% of the uh, businesses who is in the critical situation are belongs to the area or the regions where government has strictly applied uh, such kind of lockdown on top of social distancing not the social distancing but the strict lockdowns where people cannot operate their uh, businesses either they are offline or somewhere but they cannot operate their businesses so here the point is where uh, actually that 5% has a chance to rise uh, to maybe 7% maybe 10% if you know the business owners may not have taken this as uh, as a serious note but uh, again a positive note a negative note all the things there are multiple rumors are going around that business is having a lot of impact this and this but finally from the survey we come to know that 21% of the people of the print market actually have started thinking about uh, reinventing the things specifically in um, site where digital printing is involved or uh, they can offer uh, more global or more robust solutions to their customers or they can add something new to their offerings what they are offering so here it is very critical uh, time now to start thinking on it and uh, 
actually we can say it is a need of time uh, and how far any business can survive uh, or grow actually with a limited set of customers and limited set of resources available so well at that point of time either now or in future such businesses should have to give a thought on this and they should have to you know uh, start thinking towards it as there is a very popular uh, saying around it that prevention is always better than a cure so like current covid has already didn't have the time to prevent but for future for future crisis for anything else we can we have a very uh, good scenario uh, maybe after lockdown we will have such kind of demand increasing in the in the picture so we can have everything uh, it, take it in a positive mode if we can and uh, it would be difficult if we think that the things can be disastrous for us so it's it, uh, it's up to us how we going to tackle them but on a positive note on this survey we can say um, see it is not every hope which is drowning it is still uh, we can say a ray of hope uh, is still alive and uh, to support the statement let's 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 move ahead uh, to the uh, next slide here we can see um, overall 57% printers believe that this crisis will give them a way to think upon new opportunities and invention they can offer to their customers and out of 57 47% are already sure to bring something new as products and as services to their customers or to their catalog of services what they are offering and so ultimately uh, overall 78 or 79% of industry believes that this uh, covid impacts have opened the um uh, ways around the opportunities to think about reinvent something whatever they have whatever they do not have or they can have kind of products and services um let's take an example for example uh, in the uh, this lockdown scenario or in this uh, we can say uh, crisis of covid we we can offer Uh, or the print business owners can offer the solutions like uh, uh, medical equipment personalized medical equipments uh, many of the people are uh, nowadays printing personalized masks uh, they are doing a lot of uh, similar stuff like uh, they are printing awareness stuff like brochures leaflets and uh, any other relevant stuff uh, personalized images and many other stuff so uh, where the traditional printing business has stopped the new opportunities has already rise but what you need here is a specific way to represent yourself or uh, to the customers or reach to the customers because nowadays uh, we can say your uh, our reach to the customer may be limited or may have some uh, region restrictions may have locality restrictions many other restrictions let's take uh, let's see them all of them in a uh, in a one go how how the challenges of a particular business owners or a particular business models can have for example um if here uh, you know Uh, traditional business challenges i have listed is something which is not purely an offline business only but the ones who have their own website but they are using just to get uh, the uh, you get the con give the contact information to the customers or uh, you know to show the uh, catalog images to their customers so view the informations provided by uh, such businesses so the current market what 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 is the current market's demand what personalization they demands what automation they demands you know 
nowadays uh, any business i'm not talking about printing business but any business is uh, moving towards and uh, having an online presence and that online presence will give you much more um, uh, flexibility in terms of very 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 features here first of all let's see how uh, you know traditional business can enhance their sales grow or sustain in uh, any any of the crisis not covid actually but any of the crisis here see uh, here i mean that none can predict this arrival of any crisis directly relatable to your business or not maybe some crisis is directly relatable maybe some indirectly relatable but relatable somehow and even uh, some print uh, printing businesses are in some countries print, printing businesses are some even in the crisis and doing well but uh, they can be even more stable they can uh, reach their uh customers uh, they can uh, broader they reach to the customers they can attract some uh, customers from other other regions because at the scenario they are the one who is pro shut down or temporarily uh, off okay so here i have listed you know a uh, few of the scenarios first of all let's start with uh, limited customer reach so limited customer reach is generally what when you are running an offline printing store uh, the customers that came to you are very uh, limited or local or maybe from the region that is very close to you. not you can see you cannot increase your reach that uh, a person is 500 kilometers or uh, 200 kilometers far can come to you and have your business with you because there are certain limitations that certain limitations is the same as geographical presence your ge you may be geographically presented in some area where uh, your service is limited to a particular region uh, the third one is uh, manual process with a lot of back and forth uh, here you know customer needs to come to uh, print on a shop and need to ask whatever they need here uh they come with a requirement then things were been understanding by the printing on its side and once understand they work on it and once the work has been done they deliver it to the customer customer may happy may not happy because if customer is something else in mind and you have doing something another thing is mind but that can be a multiple scenarios uh the next one is longer delivery longer customer delivery time here uh, longer customer delivery time in the sense customer needs to wait or revisit the shop until the job is not completed so uh, that is one of the reason then limited time of availability such businesses run for a fixed time of availability for example you have a physical shop and your physical shop is running um, from morning 9 to max evening 9 you can work 12 hours a day not more than that for the normal person that is fair enough so here uh, what about the rest of the hours so do you think can be there with any other terms of scenarios or any anything else here maybe you do you think you can do your business 24 by 7 you can there is a possibility uh now comes to manual work proofing that majorly here customer needs to ensure printing what they need by uh, giving you the certain requirements and you need to proof for especially for the bulk orders where when they are ordering something in bulk in quantity of 1000 2000 10000 they just need to ensure that not a single mistake or not a single uh, thing what they want is actually the 100% perfect and here manual work proofing it to be done you need to call the customer to the uh, place and you can have uh, hard as well as soft proofing manually one to one corrections would be one to one so there are multiple challenges available apart from that here the another challenge that we i can clearly see it is limited options to market to merchandise and to plan for any crisis here 
to market and any of the opportunities uh, to merchandise your brand or to plan for any crisis for current crisis or any upcoming crisis that, that, that should be very very limited options for a, a traditional business model so here uh, at the end what um, we can assume is that the biggest issue here is that such a business uh, who is doing in a traditional way has always a need of a physical space to have their interaction with their customers now uh, here some people may say that customers are giving orders on email and payments through any of the systems and we are fine with that and uh, but here the most probable value is where you are increasing a bit of customer satisfaction by the your potential brand value here you should understand what your business is what your brand name is what your brand value is for example um, if you are a good brand same as nike and if you are dealing with the shoes then nike is a well known brand available so that well known brand is something which is which help in entering an online business um, very often so sometimes you know some printers are very unique in their work like maybe uh, some of you guys are very unique in doing your business uh, and have the uniqueness around your products and services you are offering but you know uh, due to some reasons uh, this uniqueness is not uh, getting highlighted to the outer customers uh, who is indeed looking for such services but eventually those are not in your region so just think uh, what if you are one of them and what if your work get recognized beyond your local search what if and additionally here uh, when any such crisis outbreaks um, it will close down your business from an immediate effect and even if you are allowed to operate by any government if you are allowed there are high chances that customers of yours was a your regular customers even hesitate to come to your shop because of the fear obvious fear is there um then you know me they are somehow they postpone their requirements of printing or maybe they try searching new online uh, printing businesses who offer them the uh, services online so maybe uh, not permanently we can say but temporarily you can use your businesses or you can sh indirectly sharing your businesses to the other competitors in your region who is already online or who is already uh, understanding the uh, precaution that so you know such a as i mentioned uh, many a times that uh, you know such a crisis is never limited to uh, you know uh, any of uh, the covid only but uh, more than that can be riots can be protests uh, many other out, uh, outbreaks of viruses like flu we had so see situations are not in our hand any time but see here what i am talking about the general tendency of the people is they have they have kept an aim to deal with the situation when uh, the situation has already happening and at that time it is very difficult to handle that situation from immediate and effect because it it should took some time to go online maybe few days depending upon requirement there are very 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 you know uh, depending regions but beyond that reasons uh, here there are few things that you should uh, consider about and those things are uh, 
maybe uh, if some person has uh, think that we they can uh, they are good at dealing with the situation and they can deal run time seen uh, as per our experience we have seen multiple times that few of them has survived luckily we can say but uh, someone even fall badly as well so here there are multiple challenges associated over here there are multiple scenarios associated and now uh, it is the right time to think on it so uh, we have covered a, a good amount of portion over here and uh, here i can say uh, if you have any of the questions uh, you can ask us in the question section over here and uh, we'll take up uh, everything that one by one once we end up the session and uh, uh, the session is with limited time and the time permits we'll take the questions one by one by one and i can see a couple of questions over here as well okay uh fair enough. so let's move ahead uh next is for printing industry there are few concepts there are um, majorly four concepts as you can see uh, first is print and demand second one is web to print third one is collaboration model and fourth is cloud printing here the four of the businesses are uh, mentioned in a way their uh, you know requirement to the market is so let's take one by one first print on demand Generally, uh, print on demand is something when someone is demanding and you you are doing the printing services for them, maybe offline, maybe online, and online is a bit partial. Mm, we have figures around that as well, and I'll going to share those figures with you in the later stage as well. But you know, uh, this print on demand, specifically on online print on demand solutions, has uh, started emerging a huge demand uh, amongst the offline businesses so we can say many offline people have started their businesses by going online second web to print where it is very clear that sorry there is a word web and there is a word print so the web to print uh, platform where people reaches to you on the web surf your catalogs surf your things surf your services do the designs what they want whatever the personalization they need they do that and they they place an order to uh, give their requirements to you via an online platform as well the third one is collaboration model. the collaboration model is uh, now getting bit uh, more uh, you know uh, infamous not especially as the about to but it has a significant uh, uh, you know popularity amongst the people now how that works is collaboration model is something the people some people has having the printers those can collaborate with web to print software owners or web to print entrepreneurs specifically we can say and they can tap uh, with uh, region based printing shops and they can run their business coming to the cloud printing cloud printing is uh, the latest technology we can say and here uh, it is a bit complex to understand as of now but to give you a brief on cloud printing here uh, whatever the data whatever the requirements whatever the personalization items that needs a printing that printing can be done using any of the local region irrespective to the location of the customer if a customer is there in uh, us can uh, order the items from india because india indian printers may have some uh, significant uh, printing facilities or may have some unique facilities or or it could be vice versa indian customers can ask for in us customers or uh, and uh, you know europe printers for this 
so here the cloud printer is there the printer is uh, geographically distributed where things will come to the printing they can uh, order here and can be printed to the local and even in the background where the business owner is is having the tap with their customers so that could be a scenario that a person is ordering from london has their business owners in us and their printers who has been in the tap with them can be there in north america or can be there in african region can be anywhere and they can be shipped internally so that chain uh, now comes in the printing industry as well so coming to the next point what we have is uh, today we'll uh, gonna discuss out of four one which is uh, a very famous uh, known as web to print because it reduces most of the efforts of yours and uh, gives you a new idea on how business can run online so here uh, i have listed many of the scenarios uh, or many of the parameters or many of the benefits you can say on which the customers can uh, rely on businesses and businesses can grow themselves first if you are an online business you can increase your customer reach because digital marketing and online e-commerce stores are always a very good combination to move ahead to decrease the limitation of geography for attaching or attracting new customers beyond the boundaries you have now when you reach any customers beyond the boundaries your customer retention ratio will be automatically got better than the previously you have why because first as you do not need to deny any customers for anything anymore uh, your loyal customers will increase because the services you are offering uh, online offline but the services has a broader reach to the online customers so it is when a, when a calculation is there it is offline plus online is equal to new opportunities there now uh, seven uh there is no limitations of uh, getting the orders uh in specific timings now you can have the online websites up uh, 24 by 7 by 365 days a year so you can get orders anytime uh here a self serving personalization interface for the customers by their customers this is something very important uh or you can say the core of web to print business where uh, here that in we we have seen that in a traditional model everything is handled by a print business owner what customer needs how it should design how it should uh, how it should be proved and then uh, payment and everything but here in self serving personalization interface uh, the people uh, we can say the customers have their own interface uh, to your website or to the website where they can choose products from your catalog they have a feature rich designer tool that designer tool itself uh, that reach that customer can uh, design their uh, whatever they want for example a customer wants something on t-shirt that t-shirt is loaded on the tool uh, then uh, that particular customer can add images the particular customer can add text play around the text play around the images and do whatever they want and uh, they have different different um, colors of the uh, t-shirts they can select sizes of the t-shirts they can select they can do whatever uh, they want and then they can add this item to the card and they can purchase it via online payment system then when the customers orders to you even you can have those uh, requirement in a specific output formats 
where you need a PNG file as an output, you can. You you get P, a PDF, you got. You got. Uh, you need an SVG, you can. So there are multiple options in output as well. Now, uh, moving ahead, here we can say that addition of new products and service to your portfolio. See, when you are, uh, you know, going out beyond the offline services, there is always a chance to add uh, new products and services to your portfolio. Products is always depending on the current market situation, what you are started, from where you are started. Sometimes it is COVID, sometimes it is regional. For example, some uh, in some regions, uh, there are popular things around. There are some festivals around. They can run a festival store. Uh, they can add related products to the festivals. They can do it uh, 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 Christmas. For example, if, if, if it's a Christmas, then they can uh, sell the T-shirts or customers can uh, personalize the Christmas T-shirts on their own and they can order from your website. There are multiple things. Finally, uh, this will lead you to the new revenue opportunities. That new revenue opportunities comes to uh, comes from all of the efforts you are doing. See, you are doing uh, majority of the efforts um, to sustain your business in any crisis or uh, you, new revenues. Try to generate new revenue streams specifically. So that opportunities will definitely be there. Uh, an online shop. An online shop is, uh, as we say, we can say, is uh, you know bound to free from any crisis because uh, generally you know uh, you can come out and sustain your business in any crisis. Depending on your ventures, you can add some. If one of your product has stopped in in in, in customers' demand, you can add some. Uh, really famous in this scenario and uh, that that could be the uh, you know uh, best advantage of having an online shop and uh, finally we can say uh, exploring the uh, you know power of digital branding so digital branding is something very important in terms of uh, if we if we say that it majorly contributes to increase or creating brand awareness in relatively faster, but in a stable way, uh, than any other means. Any other means you take to, uh, you know, create awareness of your business. The digital branding in nowadays is a most reliable and robust way to uh, do the business. So here I can say that once everything is set up. Sometimes uh, and business owners just need a, a computer or a laptop just to operate a business. That's it. See, why I am telling these things because uh, the printing industry is now trending towards a huge growth phase. In spite of such crisis, yes, such crises have impacted them a uh, few. But the printing industry is one of those industries where uh, demand is there. Not for a product, not for a, uh, a, a traditional product, but a new modern product. But demand is there. So let's have a uh, walk through to some of the figures we have. Now we can say here industry is shifting towards a major trend. So, uh, you know, as I mentioned earlier in the session that now uh, printers are looking towards new products and services that add value to their uh, brand or to their business in any troublesome or crisis situation. Let us let let, let me let me give let me give you an example um, of uh, for example, in industry, let us consider the industry of uh, package printing industry, which is uh, expected to grow to 330 billion in 2019 to 440 billion by 2024. So this is a particular segment where uh, uh, people is actually growing the business in spite of any crisis. And 
as we can say, the global printing industry is expected to reach 821 billion, 821 billion worldwide by 2022, and on the rate of 19.3 percent, is a huge rate, a very huge rate, and that huge growth uh, we can have that very much. Uh, we can earn, we can have very much from this printing industry as and as you are uh, right there in the industry, you can imagine how the market is there and how market will going to be. So, uh, let's move ahead further. Um, here, uh, see, uh, as we have learned, there are uh, various things. It is good to uh, go for a web to print solution, but going for a web to print attempt. Here, I have written the word attempt and it has a reason. So, business owners, one a set of audience we believe who wants to go online and create a website. To create a website is a very easy step. People generally believe that. And some people believe that it is a very tough job to maintain everything, uh, everything technologies, and it is not my cup of tea kind of. But uh, here, I want uh, to add comments on both of the approaches. Currently, having a website is not only the necessity, but also uh, somewhat incomplete. So you may need to go to the full length and invest in digital marketing for your online presence as well. Now we quickly go through some of the uh, web to print attempts, why, why, why they fail. I mean, what wrong, what goes wrong with them? So let's start with, uh, uh, let's start with, you know, uh, first point, with, which is undefined marketing strategies. So a business, and marketing is kind of uh, a part of a coin or sides of a coin where where there is a business there is a marketing and marketing should be strong enough to pursue any business because when you don't have any kind of marketing strategies you have your website up and live but think where the people come to you how the people reach where where are your uh, options on the marketing side how so that undefined marketing strategies will lead you to uh, any of the failure. Um, then again, there is no streamlined processes inside uh, the business. A simple website with just information is no longer a, uh, an effective. You need to understand the importance of user journey specifically. How user, how easily they can do a stuff. Because here uh, there lies a competition where your customers can have any uh, two or three different competitors alongside you. They eventually uh, compare them uh, or compare you with them or compare them with you and finally decided to go. Then on train staff sometimes, sometimes, you know, uh, technology is a part which is which may complex, which may not, but sometimes, you know, on train staff uh, uh, even play a bigger role here. Uh, so here the, my advice is simple that you need to give proper training to your staff who is going to handle the scenarios and uh, the dedication is the most important thing. You know, any new venture, if you are going to attempt, uh, initial dedication is required because uh, marketing is the thing which takes time. Uh, Building something unique that is giving your uh, brand identification, which is something which takes time. So patience uh, and dedication is the thing uh, which you have to pursue. Now, you need to understand the value of branding as well. Where businesses could understand the value to create a brand, to pursue a brand, maintain a brand, and to grow a brand. Where the brand is there, people will automatically uh, comes to you by knowing your brand value. And brand becomes from the services, the qualities that you offer. 
and sometimes you know uh, technical failures of the system ux because you have a website you did the website everything is uh, going good but technical failure of the system uh, ux that leads your customers coming on your website to a uh, non streamlined journey they can come to the website but cannot find what they want cannot do the stuffs very well on the site uh, maybe some uh, navigation issues maybe some limitations technical issues could be anything so those are the regions where uh, you know people should uh, to uh, you know live in any kind of scenario to launch a web to print uh, solution for their business now let's take some uh, real time examples uh, here uh you can see uh, four to five different different uh, well established brands of a printing industry uh few of them are international brands and few of them are indian brands now here uh, before starting any uh, this i would like to explain few things first any business basically runs in four stages first introduction phase second growth phase third maturity phase and fourth is a decline phase so any business may uh, pass through one of them or all of them it depends on uh, the scenario uh, now let's take an example of after uh, a decade ago vista print was there in the introduction mode then uh, seven years ago it is in growth mode now he is between growth and maturity we can say but uh, more towards a maturity state same as customing customing is already on a maturity stage bevakuf is a very uh, you know very very uh, growing brand in india nowadays and is still growing towards maturity and wyo it is wear your opinion somewhere uh i can see it's uh, uh, going from uh, uh, growth to decline mode uh, by skipping maturity don't know why but their uh, scenario tells the things so here what we need to understand from this that in which segment we want to fall initially we can start with introduction then we grow uh, specifically by planning something uh, by giving uh results inside by talking one by one taking the steps on the ladder one by one that growth as long as you survive on the growth phase will lead your maturity phase that longer so ultimately uh, see here uh, there are few states uh, which says that approx 30 to 35% of the market has already joined that this new phenomenon we can say is to do business online and uh, out of them um, 10% has regionally you you a uh, huge welcome and they are still in running mode but there is a still opportunity for 65 to 70% of market which is running through a local network and here there is a huge scope to go online and grab market opportunities right now so it is a right time to go ahead and to do the stuff and specifically to thought on which situation you are uh, how you can come out from the situation how other people can help you see uh, as i mentioned before um, you know it is a simple thing but uh, it should be a plan it should be a plan. any kind of uh, any kind of such venture and i assure you you will be definitely successful in the first attempt if you follow the guidelines or if you have uh, the consultancy uh, then uh, here you know i can say treasure ideas can help you in all possible ways from consulting till getting the Uh, business store up and running and furthermore there there are uh, see a lot of things 
inside and uh, uh, see here uh, how brush your ideas can help uh, to give the ideas on which uh, how the businesses can run or businesses can uh, survive or what businesses should do what businesses should not do and how brush your ideas uh, will help out them to be a part of a particular uh, you know your journey towards a successful business ahead um, i'd like to invite uh, mr achal uh, who is vice president of sales at uh, brushed ideas and who has initially joined with us in the conversation uh, he'll elaborate more uh, on the different ways how you can you know start thinking towards new opportunities and how uh, specially brushed ideas can help so uh, over to you achal now Hey, can you see me? Yeah, yeah, we can see you. Yeah. You? Thank, hello, hello everyone, and uh, myself, Vachal. Thanks, Jay, for uh, the for for the details. Uh, I'm not sure. Like, I'm am I visible now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, first of all, um, it's it's great to have you all here, and um, I basically uh, working as a uh, into the sales department at Brusher Ideas and. Uh, my majorly my role is basically to help customers to understand their day to day business challenges and then overcome them by providing best id solutions uh, in order to talk about something about the brochure ideas uh, so we 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 started in uh, almost like uh, uh, it has been more than 10 years now we are into this industry and tell me something about uh, to tell you something about the brochure ideas the uh, the parent organization is bistec id consultancy and um, brochure ideas is a product development wing for the bistec id consultancy and specific, specifically when we talk about the brochure ideas we have as you can see the screen right now there are a lot of solutions which we do offer so it starts with ready to uh, a ready e-commerce store so uh, when we talk about the e-commerce it is more important now than ever to sell online it is essentially you need to sell online uh, in the in the current situation it is more important that you sell online if you have a brick and mortar store uh, get your customers to shop online that is very important and when you start an e-commerce site there are a lot of things that need to be checked and tested to ensure that your customers will have a nice experience i'll go so you don't have to worry when it comes to implementing the best e-commerce solutions for printing businesses Brusher Ideas team is fully in tune with the latest e-commerce trends. So whether it is Shopify, uh, you have heard about the Shopify, which is an e-commerce platform. Uh, either it is WooCommerce or Magento. Our team has successfully implemented e-commerce solutions using all these frameworks for printing businesses. We help basically to build a beautiful e-commerce uh, websites by creating a fully customized, responsive online stores. that actually speaks to your customer and showcase your products second and the most important fact uh, the aspect of a web to print uh, tool is uh, the rich product designer tool and when we talk about a feature rich product designer tool so as a as printing businesses when you need to provide production uh, personalization or customization options to your customer you really need an intuitive reliable and a feature rich product designer tool Brusher Ideas has everything that you would want from an online product designer tool. While personalizing the product designs, see our product designer provides user to browse from a huge library of product images, text, clip art, and ready-to-use templates. Not only features, we have nicely taken care of site performance while using the designer tool. Either you are selling t-shirt, shoes. and any sort any sort of fabric based products or you are selling greeting cards signs posters and various types of label our designer tool can use can be used to design an assorted product range also you have to not worry about cross device compatibility anymore as our tool is fully responsive and can be easily used from any devices third and the very important and this is something which is uh which is which, which you would be commonly seeing these days which is product configurator what exactly it is 
So as for the latest researches done on customers nowadays, online customers basically expect a unique product. This is a concept. They look for a unique product which matches with their specific requirements. What it exactly means? Answer is product configurator. Brochure Ideas product configurator helps website users to design their own products step by step, part by part, using different design elements and components available in the design tool. This is as simple as that. At a step by step process and a part by part process, you can actually use the different elements of a product. Say, for example, if a customer wants to create a customized shirt for himself, so using the tool, they can select different styles, patterns, colors, shapes of different parts of shirt, button styles, colors very easily in the few steps. The best part of it is that you can also get a three, 360 degree view of the product. So in either it is in 2D or 3D, you, you get a 360 degree view of a product. You can check it from different angles before you decide to buy it online. Pressure ideas tool comes with a powerful product configurator to support both simple and complex products. Fourth and the most important thing, which is when it comes to the e-commerce, inventory plays a very important role in any e-commerce solution. So the fourth point is inventory solution for the printing orders. Now, what exactly it is? Everyone knows inventory management is very important when it comes to e-commerce business. It helps you manage and keep track of your inventory and fulfill orders of your customer well in time without any delays. So as a business owner, you need, you would never want basically to get out of stock of your products, which has, which has highest selling numbers of your, on your website. Brochure Ideas Print Inventory Management Solution helps you to keep your inventory up to date and cost minimize. You can easily view, manage and synchronize your entire inventory across all sales channels, drop shippers, warehouses and suppliers from an integrated tool. It empowers your business to manage your product stocks at multiple warehouses, stock availabilities on different sales channels and at the last barcode creation and tracking. Our solution will help you prevent any possible scenarios of stock outs. You can easily manage multiple locations and ensure accurate record keeping. So let's make this process easier than trying to do them all manually. Fourth and the important part is the printing job automation solution. So the people who are actually from the printing industry um, and who are running their printing businesses, they can understand the significance of print job automation. So in today's digital world where we have now fully tested and started reaping the fruits of power of internet along with the digitalization it's never like before we still see we still see there are many printing businesses who are managing their processes manually print staffs are spending huge amount of time handling print jobs and processes this further compels businesses to limit their daily orders processing and fulfillment it directly impact your overall growth of the business it is now high time to get rid of this manual job creations and assignments within the production unit. Brochure Ideas Print Job Management software offers a centralized system to keep track of orders, scheduling jobs, production and deliveries of the say within the same interface. Starting from receiving the work orders to creating different work stages and printing workflows, it also helps in creating order ticketing, job scheduling, and tracking of jobs at various work stages. With an intuitive calendar view, you can manage printing queues very efficiently. I hope you can relate with the printing queue. It is an essential part of a, a printing process. Finally, get the barcode scanned and finish order status and ready for the shipment and delivery. Sixth, and the most important again, and which is the core of a web to print solution, and that is why it makes it more unique that artwork proofing solution. So artwork proofing is, is, is extremely important in a web to print solution as there could be scenarios where customer have mismatched their artwork with overlapping images or color mismatch 
there is a huge benefit in using this solution because it helps to avoid unexpected problems with text images, colors, spacing, and other design elements. Finding this layout issue before going to final printing not only saves valuable time, it also helps avoid critical situations and expense associated with a reprint. Brushure Ideas artwork proofing solution covers all the scenarios nicely and consists of all the features tailored to your production line needs. Jay, can you take me to the next slide, please? So, so this is basically all about like how we can help you in an end to end. So I'm looking at, there are four aspects basically here. Yeah? The very first is industry exper experts with trending solutions. So here, uh, we are just gonna be explaining you that, so Brushure Ideas designer tool can be integrated with any e-commerce platforms like Magento, Shopify, WooCommerce. So in case if you have any other custom platform tool, so say for example, your your existing solution is not in Magento, Shopify, and e-commerce, but then if you have other solutions too, in that case, we can get you an API tool to connect with your store. We have that solution available. And when it comes to, there are a lot of questions out there that how we can go, uh, how we can best utilize and tap the opportunity out there to, to, to get the maximum uh, online traffic or online opportunity out there. So there comes the marketing part. So at Brushwood Ideas, we follow a growth-focused marketing strategy. We always aim to partner with businesses to help them achieve their business goals. Either it is growing with your uh, site ranking or traffic or growth in leads and sales. We have right mix of digital marketing professionals and content strategists who consult and implement your entire online marketing solution from optimizing your SEO, content optimization, AdWords, conversion optimization. It all leads to your overall business growth. We nevertheless, we, we, have, we haven't, we can't ignore the UI and UX part of it. So we at Brushure Ideas have experts in UI and UX. And as you know, most importantly, as you know, great designs are not created in vacuum. Our team of design experts not only keep up with the latest design trends, but also focus on UI and UX precisely to create custom design websites which drive conversions for you. We follow a collaborative process where we involve customers at every stage and our team is fully developed and designed which truly represents your business values. Not last but not the least, we have expert business consultants out there. So we have industry specific subject matter expertise who help businesses to define an online business strategy to help you in the overall growth of the business. Last but not the least, in short, I would like to tell you, this is basically a one-stop solution. So at once, at one place, you will find all the solutions available. You don't have to uh, look for any other vendor. And we provide a one-stop solution for your online business. Jay, can you, can you take me to the last slide? I'll not take much of your time. This is basically the last slide where we have mentioned all the uh, contact details. So if you have any questions on top of the questions which you have mentioned here, and if there is any follow-up questions, you can reach out to the Pressure Ideas team on the given numbers and on the email IDs. I'll end my and I'll end my speech over here, but then we will definitely like to take uh, all the questions. We have a lot of questions. We do have shorter time. We are running over time, but we'll try to. I'll, I'll try to cover all the questions through the chat, but then we will take few of the specific questions over here. Jay. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Achal, for giving us a wonderful explanation what we can have at Pressure Ideas and uh, yeah. So. Uh, that's all we have for today, uh, but still it's not end like Achal said, we'll take up the questions and uh, we'll start answering them. Uh, we'll try to answer the questions as possible as we can, but as you know, we are uh, evenly uh, running out of the time now. So uh, we may get back to you uh, with the responses in email as well, but uh, make sure we will make sure that no questions would be unanswered. Okay. so. Uh, question then uh, so we have few questions there yeah uh, first question is uh, is saying like we are uh, offline printers and so how we can compete now in the current situation and after lockdown okay 
so uh, basically uh, our uh, sessions is all about that thing only but uh, to to give you a summary and uh, how uh, then offline business can survive in current situation and after lockdown there are uh, two scenarios you have uh, first you should considering to go online from offline whatever you have with uh, minimalistic approach to start with and the second approach while going in to the online uh, you should have to introduce new products and services relatively to the current scenarios that is going for example uh, covid is there so you should uh, add kind of uh, uh, awareness products where uh, uh, flyers leaflets and any kind of awareness which can be help people to aware about the situation in your local regions in your uh, uh, out beyond the local regions we can say so yes uh, as a summary uh, it is a right time to go online uh, either a full fledged way either a minimalistic way any way but online presence is necessary nowadays and introduction to new products and services to catalog is very necessary yeah I so talk. just to add on that point um, see we at brochure ideas help all the offline printers to go online uh, many customers comes and request for understanding how we can get online so we have a very systematic process where we help customers to understand uh, where what what is their current business uh, state right now how what kind of territory they want to target what is their product catalog so our team helps them in understanding and defining a requirement where we can have a step by step process to take them from offline to an online concept there is uh, no other option left out to go online uh, in and with the current covid situation uh, this is this has become more important and people are understanding the significance of being online at least you can actually get your system get your business running 24 cross 7 we have a short of time um, very very sorry about the short of time we would like to take up next question i think the next question is of uh, this, the, the earlier question was of mr pradeep kulkarni uh, i hope uh, you you have got our answer but then we will reach out in one on one and explain you more detail the second is uh, question is from mr sagar kamble who has mentioned that how to start t-shirt printing business what is requirement and what is market condition how to improve it uh, so it's basically like uh, our, um, so it's it's like that uh, there are many solutions uh, as jay has mentioned uh, in the earlier slides the print on demand is one of the concept where you don't actually require a lot of uh, setup or capital investment up front to set up an entire print assembly print on demand essentially is a concept where you can actually reach out it it's basically a um, individual print a uh, business can work with the big print houses where the operation the, the printing process and the deliveries and shipments can be managed by their end and you have to just look after of the marketing strategy so more and more product catalogs you can promote and you can generate the orders the print on demand is the right step for you to initiate this uh, t- getting into the t-shirt printing business print on demand is the best solution you can start with and then as you move forward you can explore more into getting it your full end to end solution as an on premise solution you can have a uh, third and uh, third important question is from uh, jusono who has asked uh, jay that uh, what are the server hosting requirements in order to have the best performance for the design tool yeah answer the question of jusono we can say it clearly depends on few of the parameters on uh, the parameters which starts from the uh, number of traffic you expected to come on your store number of products you uh, are offering to your customers uh, generally we can say uh, um, you know uh, best configurations for a particular de- uh, design to run a particular design tool uh, specifically attached with your website uh, you should need an uh, open source uh, uh, linux based server uh that has php uh installed where uh, php version could be uh, 7 7.3 or 3 and uh, with apache or nginx any server is fine with uh the as a database you can have mysql as a database with uh, 5.7 or more even 
और रनिंग ओवर टाइम या सो इट्स बेसिकली डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ यू नो यू आर एमिंग टू गेट द ब्रॉडर ऑडियंस इफ यू आर एमिंग टू गेट ब्रॉडर ऑडियंस यू नीड मच कॉन्फिगरेटेड सर्वर एंड या सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग या या so we have three more questions uh, i hope jisono you have got the uh, um, answer but then uh, we will definitely get back to you in person with more details about the server uh, there is a question from uh, dr sushil kumar soni that how can offline print media compete with online print media especially in situation like covid disaster and other such a situation disaster so here it's basically like um, uh, as we have already taken it uh, before the answer lies in going online so majorly the print businesses are right now uh, trying to go online and look into like if uh, what all tweaks they can get into the product catalog uh, how they can best utilize their current printing assembly in the product catalog in the given situation where the uh, where say for example many of the uh, apparel printing business uh, who are into the apparel printing or in the cloth printing so they are actually using the same product catalog for uh, developing the uh, the products or printing the products or utilizing them for the covid scenario the people who are suffering from that so one is that and it's 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 basically uh, there is no alternative of um, directly competing as an offline and a, uh, online so you have to definitely get an online uh, strategy right in place when you go online and either it is in covid or uh, apart from the covid uh yes uh, uh with the digitalization and with the with the kind of internet reach out uh the global reach out of the internet um we should definitely recommend you to go online and uh, reap the benefits out of it uh there is another question from mr prasant that how to reach active maximum customers so uh, as i said like uh, using digital marketing strategies would be the best one to tap the maximum um uh reach out and how you can actually tap the maximum audience from there that's the best way to reach out to the maximum customers but depending upon which target uh, demography you are you want to work with um there's one more question for mr from mr gurvinder singh jay that is how how can web to print can help for a short run variable data print uh, in offset printing scenario with turn around time like that of digital printing uh here we can say a uh, one line answer that uh, variable data inkjet printing would be the solution for that and uh, it will give the output same as digital printing maybe there are a uh, few of the scenarios where uh, you know uh, there is a competition uh, it, it has with the digital printing but not uh, for the vdp concept in uh, offset printing and specifically for offset scenarios and to turn around the times near to digital printing uh, variable data inkjet printing is the yeah all right so um, i think we have tried to cover as much question as possible and um, uh, uh, for all other questions we will reach out in person to everyone and uh, from my side i'm um, thank you everyone for uh, coming online and um, uh, giving us chance this opportunity to explain about uh, our experience and our understanding of the current covid situation how you can help to we can help you to navigate through this process so thank you very much from our side uh, jay yeah so uh, thank you everyone for joining with us and i hope you will have a great time and the necessary informations and uh, also uh, we will be going to share an email for the feedback how about you how you have had the experience with us uh, so you can write your thoughts on that and uh, one more thing uh, we are uh, planning a next session on a very interesting topic uh, and we'll roll out the details very soon to you uh, so hoping from all of you to be there as well again uh, i can say thank you very much for your time uh, stay safe stay healthy and just give a thought what uh, we have talked about today yeah cheers then thank you everyone yeah bye bye have a great day have bye have a great day bye